Well, it's National Run for Office Day. And where's my fucking card? <laughs> Seems to come faster every year, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what I hate? I just got done with Halloween, and now we're putting up Run for Office Day decorations already. <laughs> anyway, this is an important day. We just had an election, and uh, we had a record number of people running for office for the very first time, thanks to our friends at Run for Something for urging a lot of them to run and supporting them when they did run. And if you're out there and you've ever thought about running for office, if you don't like the people in D.C. who represent you, I love run them. for office. I, for me, I, I love them. <laughs> John loves them, so I he's not him. running for office. I'm an establishment guy. He's more of an establishment guy. I say, give me more Bob Menendez. But you should think about running. Um, and a lot of people who have been involved in Run for Something, they run for office. Even the people who don't win the first time, they say they want to run again because they love the experience so much. One of the most exciting things in this midterm is how many seats we won across the country in districts just a few years ago. We didn't even have a candidate. These yeah. are places, because we ran people everywhere, we were able to win everywhere. And you can be a part of that. So, if you, if you thought you were the kind of person who'd never run for office, that's okay. A whole bunch of people ran this time who never thought about politics before, never thought about running for office before. You could be one of those people, and in two years from now, you could be sitting in, in Congress yeah. or, or somewhere else. State House. State House. The, the, uh, the Secretary uh, of State's office. The, the, the Queen's Chamber. The Queen's Chamber. Anyway, happy National Run for Office Day. If you want to run for office, if you want to learn more about this, Go to runforofficeday.com. I got it right. Killed it. Bye, guys.